Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'll be booting up this 16 year old Dell Optiplex 755 Office PC, doing some basic temperature testing and cleaning out the inside of the PC and its outer casing. Hope you enjoy the video. So to begin with I plugged the system into the mains power and it powered on automatically without me pressing the power button. And straight away the BIOS showed lots of warnings on the screen saying the system battery voltage is low and the system configuration has been reset. This is because the BIOS battery died years ago. This wasn't an issue though, after pressing F1 the system rebooted. It also warned me about a floppy diskette seek failure, despite the fact there's no floppy drive installed. Again pressing F1 bypassed the warning and the system started to boot. As you can see here the system started booting into Windows 10. In fact, this system originally shipped with Windows XP when it was new back in 2008. The date and time settings were also incorrect due to the dead BIOS battery. Looks like this system had not been booted up since March. After typing in my password, the system took a couple more minutes to log on and eventually I was at the Windows desktop. Here are the system specs. The system's running the latest version of Windows 10 Pro and has an Intel Core 2 Duo E4600 CPU with two cores and is clocked at 2.4 GHz. It also has 4 GB of DDR2 RAM with a 160 GB Seagate hard drive. Oh, and Intel GMA3100 graphics, which is completely useless when it comes to gaming as you've probably seen in one of my recent videos. So before cleaning out the PC, I thought it would be a good idea to perform a couple of basic temperature tests first. While the system was idle, I opened RealTemp to check the current CPU temperature. As you can see, it was averaging around 40 degrees, which is not too bad, but it could be better. I then decided to go into a very old version of Vegas Pro and try rendering a short gameplay clip in 1080p. Um, as you can see, the CPU temperature was already up to 70 degrees, even though I'd only been using Vegas Pro for about 10 minutes at the time. I rendered the short gameplay clip using the WMV codec with the QWERTY set to 1080p, 30fps and 8 megabits per second. And after a few minutes of very slow rendering, the CPU temperature was averaging around 75-76 degrees under maximum load. So quite a high temperature, but actually it's not too bad for an Intel CPU from this time. The temperature probably would have risen even higher if I rendered a much longer video. I think the system could do with a cleanup. Let's open up the case and see what's inside. And oh my goodness, look at the amount of dust inside. I don't think this system's been open and cleaned for a very long time. Time to take the system outside and get rid of all this dust. I ended up buying an air duster just to blow out all the dust inside the PC. Here's some footage. About 5 minutes later and the PC was almost entirely free of dust already. Look at how much better the system looks inside. And thanks to my brother Adam for helping me clean out the PC. He may have also used the air duster to ruin my hair at one point. Stop it! 
<laughs> Stop it, please. Anyway, I was not quite done yet with cleaning the PC. Of course, the air duster can't get rid of every bit of dust, especially in between the vents. So, after bringing the PC back indoors, I spent another few minutes brushing the front vent with anti-static brushes. And I also used a pair of tweezers to remove balls of dust from certain areas. After looking closely at the case, I found a fair amount of dirt and marks in certain places which needed a wipe. I spent some more time cleaning it all around the case with surface wipes. That's not good. Oh wow. At one point the floppy drive cover actually got pushed in by accident. Whoops. I did fix it a bit later though. It didn't take much force for the floppy drive cover to get pushed in, and it looked like one of the plastic clips had partially broken. Luckily the cover snapped back in easily. I then decided to open up the case and brush off any other bits of dust around the inside of the case. I did also give the entire case a further wipe off camera. And since the case was open again, I decided to replace the old BIOS battery with a new CR2032 cell. However, this was not done without some major struggle trying to use plastic tweezers to remove the battery. That was quite pathetic. And after a minute of struggling, the plastic tweezers actually broke. Brilliant. That snapped it, are you serious? I then switched to a pair of metal tweezers and got the battery out literally within 10 seconds. There we go. I wish I just used the metal ones to start with really. Anyway, time to put in a new CR2032 cell. Pretty simple process apart from the hard drive being in the way a little bit. Okay. After replacing the BIOS battery, it was now time to put the case back on and get everything plugged back in. plugging the system into the wall, the PC turned on automatically and it showed the same warnings as it did earlier. 
even saying the system battery voltage was low. I was a bit concerned that the battery replacement didn't work for some reason, but after pressing F1 and waiting for the system to reboot, I then only got the floppy drive warning. There was no mention about the system battery being low now. After booting into Windows again, I changed the date and time settings to make sure they were correct. And yes, I did record this part nearly two weeks later. <laughs> scroll wheel on this mouse is terrible. I also went back into the BIOS settings and disabled the floppy drive to get rid of the annoying warning that appeared every time I tried to boot the system. Finally, I powered off the system and unplugged it from the mains for about 20 minutes to ensure the system would remember the current BIOS settings. I plugged the system back in after a little while. As usual, it powered on by itself, but unlike before, it powered back off after a couple of seconds. Manually pressing the power button, the PC powered on and started booting. And as you can see, there were no warnings and the time and date settings were accurate. This confirmed the new BIOS battery was definitely working. And now the final section of this video, seeing if the cleanup resulted in better CPU temperatures. I performed the same basic tests as I did before, just leaving the system idle for a little while and rendering a short clip. As you can see here, I left the system for a bit and the CPU temperature was averaging about 33 to 34 degrees. This is already a bit better than before. I then started rendering the same 1080p video clip in Vegas Pro and after a few minutes of rendering the CPU temperature was averaging about 60 degrees which is a considerable improvement compared to the original reading where it was averaging about 75. I actually decided to try rendering a slightly longer video after and even after a further 10 minutes of rendering the CPU temperature barely exceeded 70 degrees. And that is pretty much it for this video. The system is nice and clean and the running temperature has improved considerably. I'm very pleased with how well this has worked out. I'm also aware that my methods were not perfect. For example, I could have done a full disassembly and properly restore the system, but I didn't really think that was necessary as I just wanted to at least get rid of the abundance of dust inside and also give the case just a bit of a clean. I'm also planning on upgrading some parts inside this PC at some point in the future and doing a follow-up to my running Ballistic NG on the Dell Optiplex 755 video that I did last month. If any of this interests you, please make sure to subscribe and look out for updates in my community tab. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.